Hello everyone, welcome to your virtual instructor. So here is the architecture of our today's lab. So here we will be deploying one load balancer in one particular VPC and we will be deploying two EC2 servers and we will be creating Apache web server using user data in it or doing the launch of the EC2 instances and we will be routing the traffic between them by using this load balancer. So let's jump into our lab for today. So for today's lab, I am in my AWS console home and if I go to my VPC dashboard here I have one VPC deployed in the OEO region and also I have two subnets one is private and one is public in this VPC and we are going to use the private subnet and if I go to the root table so here this particular root table is associated with a private subnet and also only the local traffic within the VPC is allowed in this subnet. And if I go to my instances EC2 dashboard, here I have one public EC2 deployed in the public subnet. And we are going to deploy two more EC2 machines in our private subnet. And during the launch, we are going to use this bash script to install the Apache server in the machine being deployed. So here if you see we are updating the YAM repository then we are installing the Apache server and then echoing the host name into the index.html file. To use this script in the private EC2 instance we will be requiring the installation of the NAT gateway. So if I go back to my VPC dashboard again if I go to the NAT gateways, I am going to create one and subnet I will be choosing here is the public subnet connectivity type public is fine and I will be allocating one elastic IP and will be hitting on the NAT gateway so our NAT gateway is available now so now we need to add a route so that our user script can install the Apache server into the private EC2 instances. So here I will be going back to my private root table and click on edit routes. Here I will be adding a route and destination should be anywhere and the target should be NAT gateway. Here I will be choosing the NAT gateway which we have recently created. So if I go here and if I see here this is the one now I will click on save changes and this is deployed now we will go and launch our private EC2 instances number of instances we want to Amazon Linux 2MI instance type T2 micro is fine keep your login I will be using one existing one and subnet is fine private and auto send public IP disabled here I will be selecting one existing security group here I will be choosing the private EC2 security group and in the advanced detail if I scroll down here I will be pasting my script in the user data and click on launch instance And now we will go ahead and create one load balancer. So I will hit on this create load balancer and I will be choosing network load balancer. Here load balancer should be internet facing. I have only one availability zone. So I will be choosing this one. And I want to deploy it in the public subnet. So this will deploy basically a load balancer node or network interface card which is attached to the load balancer in the public subnet. And that will be used to route the traffic or load balancer traffic to our private EC2 machines in that particular availability zone. IP address I will go with the assigned by AWS. 
सिक्योरिटी के उपाय विल बी क्रिएटिंग ए न्यू वन एंड इन बाउंड रूल आई वॉन्ट टू अलाउ द ट्रैफिक ऑन पोर्ट एटी फ्रॉम एनी वेल एंड विल हेड ऑन क्रिएट नाउ लेट मी गो टू द डोट बैलेंसर listeners and routing i want to load balance the traffic on the port 80 and here i have to select a target group so we have to create a blood target group because we don't have any available in this region so here i will be going with the instances because we want to load balance the traffic between the instances and other options we will be discussing in the future lectures Here we want to go with the TCP port 80, and regarding the health check, here I want to check the file index dot HTML, and I will be keeping these settings as the default, and will hit on next. Here I will be selecting both my private EC2 instances, and click on include as pending below. and will hit on create target group now if i go here and refresh here i can see the name of my newly created target group so here i will be selecting this one i don't want to add any listener so if you want to add more like for tcp 443 or any other or tcp 8080 etc you can add it here or you can add it afterwards as well so as of now i will be going only with the port number 80 and then i will be hitting on the create load balancer so this will take a minute or so so here my load balancer is available now and if i copy the dns name of it and put it here so i won't be able to reach the particular web page to troubleshoot the issue let's go back to the load balancer and from here i will be going to the target group and from here if i go to the targets i can see both target are displaying as unhealthy so to troubleshoot this issue we we'll log in to our public ec2 machine that is private ip ending with 198 so here i have already logged in to this machine and this is the private ip ending with 198 so here i will be logging to one of the private ec2 machine and here if i do curl http localhost so my application is up and running fine so what is the problem if i go to this ec2 instance and the security group here i have only allowed the ssh traffic from this public ec2 machine so here also we have to allow this http traffic on port 80 from the load balancer so what i will do i will create one more rule and i will be selecting http here and here i will be choosing the security group which is attached to our network load balancer and click on save now if i go to my portal and click on refresh i can see the result that we are able to reach one of the private ips so if i go to my ec2 instances over here so this is 162 and this is 173 so we are able to reach 173 and if i refresh couple of times so i can see this ip ending with 62 as well so this marks the end of our lecture today i hope you liked this one so please do provide your feedback and thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead thank you